Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio will cross watch you wherever you have the planetary placement. You know what to do. Claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, sharing is caring. Also, whoever you are, wherever you are, Scorpio on the whole planet, shout out to you. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join us. And we love you. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground for Scorpio. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Scorpio. Scorpio, it's my job to read and channel this energy for you, and it's your job to apply it in your life only for your higher good, and only from your higher self, and only if it applies. All right, let's see how we can help you. Show me the energy. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. Well, Eight of Cups, walking away to go find your emotional happiness. All right, there's some kind of discontentment here with these Eight Cups that are behind you. So now you're going forward to find some kind of satisfaction and emotional contentment. Show me. The I'm moving on card. You got, yeah, because look, you, yeah, there's some kind of lack of passion here. There's some kind of lack of um, inspiration. There's some kind of delay. There's some kind of creative block. And this is what you're walking away from. Good for you. Good for you, Scorpio. Yeah. Show me. Show me, Scorpio. Okay, here we go. You have a Six of Cups in reverse. Now, the, somebody could be living in the past here. Somebody could be wanting some kind of forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. This could be some kind of childhood healing that you need to do here. Um, people, places, and things from your past. But also with the Six of Cups in reverse, it's it's some kind of nativity or some kind of afraid to move forward. Like being stuck in the past. You have... You have a temperance at the foundation of the situation. All right, so Sagittarius energy for having an inner calm, an inner balance, an inner control, tranquility. Some of you are seriously, you know, uh, protected by spirits and ancestors here, your guardian angels. You got the magician, Gemini energy. All right, so this is about some kind of manifestation. Now, either you have Gemini in your chart or you're dealing with somebody that does. Um, but this is the creator. This is somebody who's very resourceful and inspired. This is somebody that takes action. They have willpower, skill, and intellect. All right, hold on. Time out. Before we continue into the current energy, because that's the past. Please and thank you. Hit the like and subscribe. It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. And it's very necessary for us on our end. Also, it is the right thing to do. You are expending positive energy forward that I could pick up on and read for you. But, but. Whether or not you do hit that like and subscribe, we here at Brooklyn Born Tarot love you unconditionally. So much so that regardless, we are sending you health, wealth, happiness, and abundance to infinity and beyond, all right, because we love you. Also, started a new channel. It's called Delilah's Den Tarot. It's adult eroticism. It's raw over there. I'm not monetized yet over there, so you don't even know what's going on over there. It's crazy. So it's really hot sexual readings with some, you know... Yeah, some spirituality thrown in and some laughs. So if you like, please come on over to Delilah's Den Tarot and join us over there for some sexual eroticism, all right? So now we said all that. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe while you're over there too if you decide to come. If you, you know, listen, if you're faint to heart, don't come because, you know, yeah, it's raw. I'm like getting Eddie Murphy raw over there, all right? Here we go. Show me the current energy. Thank you, guys. All right, so now, well, look what you have. In the current energy, you got a 10 of pentacles. Right? So this is about legacy, roots, inheritance, abundance, stability, privilege, tradition, and wealth. It's family. Okay, I'm seeing like, um, oh, somebody might be going camping. I'm seeing those lanterns. Somebody can have up to four kids. I'm seeing, I'm seeing three or four children could be involved in this. I'm seeing the golden retriever. Somebody likes to wear denim. Here we go. So, oh, look at this. Shit, you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten. Okay, so, so far, every water sign has gotten both of these. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The moon is in Pisces right now, so that's about emotions. But the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment and domestic harmony. So, you got love and happiness and wealth. I mean, you're doing terrific over here. In the current energy, we like it for you, Scorpio. Somebody likes to wear braids in their head. Somebody's got a hammock. 
and seeing singing bowls. Um, again, two little children or three little children. Show me. Show me the middle of the spread here. All right, so over here you got some kind of breakthrough, some kind of judgment, some kind of decision being made. You know, there's a breakthrough in the whole situation. I mean, there's a breakthrough in the whole situation. What is that? Excuse me. There it goes. Right now you have Gemini and Sagittarius as the most predominant. And here, Judgment and Scorpio right in the middle. Here we go. Show me. Okay. High Priestess, Pisces Energy. So this is about maybe keeping things secret or on the down low because we know the High Priestess is very quiet. But it's also about using your intuition. Maybe some of you are very intuitive. Maybe some of you answer to a higher power. Maybe some of you have some serious spirituality or you thirst for knowledge. You could be being very creative. You could be working from your subconscious. I'm seeing P. I'm seeing C. I'm seeing M. Again, I'm seeing like dreadlocks. I'm hearing... No. <laughs> who is coming to dinner? Not the dreadlocks. I don't know who that is, but all right. Show me. Show me, Scorpio. Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio. Now you have... Oh, the love is in reverse. So this could be something that has to do with some kind of um, disharmony, trust issues, some kind of imbalance, some kind of disconnection, some kind of detachment, maybe a bad choice or somebody that's very indecisive, okay? Gemini energy, again, that's twice on the board. Some of you really have it in your chart or you're dealing with a straight-up Gemini. I'm going to give you a binaural beat. Hold on. Well, we dropped the Scorpio. I'm picking them up and putting them back in because I don't know which way they went. And I do. we play fair and square here. Show me Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, here we go. So now you got a four swords. This is about rest and... You know, rest and recuperation. So make sure that you're, you know, nurturing yourself. Make sure you're getting enough sleep and you're eating properly and drinking plenty of water. Also, you know, you're very protected with whatever this is. This is some kind of withdrawal with the Four of Swords. It's like, you know, pulling back. Um, it also is about, you know, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. Then you have to heal, right? So it's also about um, now preparing and contemplating your next steps forward. Okay, and whatever that is, you're ready to take a new leap of faith. You know, this is a new opportunity approaching, Aries energy. Maybe some of you are going to travel. It's something very spontaneous. It's a new beginning. So you're preparing for this new beginning that you're going to you're gonna definitely take. So show me what's going on with that. Good for you, Scorpio. Whoop. Yeah, you got a knight of swords in reverse. Listen, watch out for this energy. Oh, I don't like this energy at all. This is somebody who's very aggressive, very impulsive, very forceful, and arrogant. This one is a is a narcissist. This, they lie, they cheat, they blame it on you. They think they're shit. They think they're God's gift, the the greatest thing since sliced bread. In the meantime, you know it's a loser. So be careful. This is somebody very manipulative, very very manipulative. It's swords. It's the realm of the mind. So they're yeah, they just sit around plots on how they're going to manipulate people to their higher good. Like I said, lie, cheat, blame it on you. Use you, abuse you, like this. Especially in mental abuse. So be careful not to take a new leap of faith with anybody that's in that energy. If you know somebody, somebody showing red flags and they're in this kind of energy, run, forest, run, forest, run. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell me the rest. Scorpio. Scorpio, here you go. Oh, back. What am I telling? <laughs> Thank you, spirit and ancestors. I love you. Hold back from this energy, okay? You, you're contemplating your new steps forward, whatever new leaps of faith you're going to take. It's not with this jerk off, okay? Hold back. Don't give them any of your money. Don't even let them know you have any money. I'm telling you right now, somebody likes to wear a gold kerchief on their head. Somebody's got a nose ring here. Somebody lives in a particular area, like a little village or a little town, something like this. Anyway, this is about holding back, okay? This is about not sharing your thoughts, your feelings, your words, your material goods, your monetary wealth, your affections, your body, anything. Somebody likes to wear a lot of bracelets. Somebody has a really good tan at this point. Okay, yeah, look. Look at this. There's an ending and a new beginning. Scorpio, this is your card. Death and rebirth. Something must end so something new can begin. It's the natural flow, ebbs and flows, I'm hearing of life. So, you know, death and rebirth. All things come to an end and then new things begin. If you don't clear out the old baggage from the past, you know, how you, you got two cards of a new beginning here. 
The fool is a new beginning. Something has got to end first. And I think it's with this energy right here. So, Scorpio energy. Somebody might have a red hoodie that they like to wear. I'm seeing pine trees. Seeing a macabre. Somebody could be up on a hill, like looking off at a hill, like some kind of distance. Or maybe like on some kind of a... What is that? Like a body of water? Like somebody could be jumping off a cliff into water like some are like swimming safely, not just jumping off a cliff. You might want to tell this person to go jump off a cliff. You might want to do that. This is fairness and balance coming into a situation. By ending something... Taking this new leap of faith and holding back from this energy because you're nurturing yourself right now. This is going to bring, because this person is twisted anyway. They don't want to make a decision and it's it's, it's unrequited. You're not on the same page. There's no trust. There's no love there. This is an abuser. A user and an abuser. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, shit. Listen, you want to, yeah, there's fairness and balance here. Run with that. Libra energy. Libra, Scorpio. What else do we have? I told you Sagittarius, Gemini, and Pisces, right? Okay, here we go. Two more. Two more. There we go. So, yeah, Leo. So, have some strength. Listen, yeah, you know, this is Leo energy for strength. And then some of you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. But the more important what this is for you is to have inner strength and courage, bravery, confidence, control yourself, overcome any self-doubt. Okay? You got this. Some of you could have um, an infinity an infinity tattoo. I'm seeing a little lamb. Okay? Some of you might have a necklace that has like a, uh, it's a stone. It's a stone, but it's shaped like a heart. Hearts of stone. Oh, you got to have a heart of stone for this one. That's what that is. Thank you, spirit. That's good to you. you have heart of stone. I'm hearing hearts of stone. See the heart of stone? There's a heart of stone. You better have the heart of stone against this energy. You don't want this person coming in because they're not right. And this, you know, especially if you know this to be somebody from the past who's a jerk off. All right. I'm telling you right now. Unless you like to get hurt. I don't know. That's on you. End that shit. End that shit, Scorpio. I don't care who it is. Family members, friends, loved ones. Doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, you want a victory because you want a victory. Say you want a victory. So give me one more here for the end. Here. The end is, what is the end? What am I telling you? Spirited ancestors, I am truly, truly grateful for your clarifications to my gifts. Really. Six of swords. Move on. Get away from whatever, whoever this is. Because I'm not going to say whatever. It's whoever. Whoever this is that's twisted and manipulative and lies. And, and you know who this is already. Spirit says you know who the fuck this is. <gasps> yep, that's right. I said it. Well, if you want to hear all kinds of cursing, all kinds of things over there, sex, you don't even know what's going on on Delilah's Den. Oh, my God. All right, so you got the Six of Swords. This is about transition, moving on, accepting your lessons and departure. So do that. Again, I'm seeing some kind of red shawl or a red hoodie. Yeah, otherwise, look what's happening. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of struggle. People are fighting. Somebody wants to win at all costs. They, somebody's got a migraine freaking fucking headache from this, okay? I'm telling you right now that this is going to give you a headache. This is not a good energy here, all right? Now, do some soul searching. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart. I don't know. But this is about enlightenment, soul searching, self-reflection, solitude, inner guidance, introspection. Do it because you got to walk away. It's going to be painful. But, you know, you already know that you have to do this, all right? It's giving you a headache. Maybe it hurts. I mean, it does hurt. But, you know, so I'm hearing again. Let's just kiss and say goodbye. This person over here has done so much enlightenment and inner child work and healing that they are the light. They don't even need the freaking lantern anymore. They left it down here to guide others up to the light. So, you know, you could be um, you could be helping others by what you've learned. You got to walk away. Just do it. Just do it. I'm hearing Nike. Just do it. Let me get you some... Uh, some of these, we bartered, we begged, we told you how much we love you unconditionally. We, let's get you a binaural beat. We told you about Delilah's dead. <laughs> so fun. Okay, so here you go. 18 and 9, there's a child or somebody who's innocent or some kind of childish person. 18 or 9. Purple or pink could be of significance. This could be a girl, a little girl or a, a daughter that some kind of daughter somebody has here. Here we go. Now, you also have the gift. Somebody could be getting a gift of having a child, right? 17 or 8. Somebody could be 71 here. Show me. Show me. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, boy. There's some kind of legal issues going on here. Could be some kind of legal issues over a child. Maybe you're going to get awarded some money here. That's going to be a gift, right? Especially if somebody owes you some back child support or something. 23 or 5. All right, so some kind of papers could be having to be filed. Maybe you're going to have to go to court. I'm seeing C and M. I'm also seeing S, the letters S. There's some kind of message somebody's going to get here, all right? Number seven. This is, uh, you could be getting a, ma a letter in the mail, like an old-fashioned handwritten letter. Somebody's got some kind of, um, I'm hearing an inkwell. All right, well, listen, you know what? Don't go stand by the mailbox waiting for the mailman because that's just ridiculous. 
Um, don't hold your phone in your hand waiting for a text or a message. Don't do this. It's crazy. You're going to get a message. Look, a message and a message of concern. Somebody out there is getting some kind of freaking message. I'm seeing like golden or beige color curtains in the house. Also, somebody likes stained glass. So whatever this message is, it could be a message of concern from some of you. It could be some kind of a handwritten note. So show me. But it doesn't have to be, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. I'm seeing a little wood box with stationery in it. I'm seeing an old courthouse with a weather vane. So some kind of old courthouse. Show me. Anything else? Okay, here we go. If, if you're in some kind of legal matter with the justice card here, everything's going to turn out. Okay, somebody could be passing away. Oh, God, you might get a, a message, Scorpio, of concern that somebody passed away. I'm sorry. I don't like to deliver these messages. I don't. But, you know, I'm, I don't. I work for spirit. I got to do what I'm told here. So, you know, in Kipper, in this establishment this is a straight up viewing okay this is a funeral parlor that's a freaking coffin somebody's passing away for some of you so our deepest condolences for anybody who's losing somebody out there now don't everybody freak out because it's not for everybody right i mean you know not every, yeah i'm seeing a candelabra a lot of purple and a wooden a wooden box there okay so yeah somebody could be passing away you're going to get this message all right now I want you to all go in the mirror. We're doing positive mirror magic for the next couple of weeks here. So everybody starts to get the idea that you have to be your biggest supporter and believe in yourself the most. Go in that mirror, look yourself in the eye and tell yourself how freaking great you are. Tell yourself how, how wonderful you've done on this journey because you have. You're still standing. Anything that's come at you, you're still standing. I mean, I'm still standing. So you're wonderful. We love you. We are proud of you. And I want you to be your biggest supporter and your biggest believer. Now I'm hearing, I'm a believer. What's that, the monkeys? I'm a believer. What, what is, yeah. Something, I'm a believer. So listen, that's really old. A lot of you don't even know what it is. That's how ancient I am. But you know what? Yeah, I'm a believer. I think it's the monkey. Believe in yourself is the point. Give me a positive affirmation for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Today, I am excited. Today is going to be the best day ever. So, yes, yeah, Scorpio, we love you. Thank you so much. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.